So hi there folks, we are on our next video on statistics. Um, today we're going to tackle now and reach the topic on ANOVA or analysis of variance. So again, ANOVA or analysis of variance is a technique used for the F-test wherein we're going to measure now the significant difference between um, three or more means, that is more than two means, because if it's only two means, so we're going to make use of the t-test. So um, we have this sample problem in which we're going to solve using um, the technique ANOVA. So a researcher wishes to try three different techniques to lower blood pressure of individuals diagnosed with high blood pressure. The subjects are randomly assigned to three groups. The first group takes medication, sorry, medication, let me fix that. The second group um, does exercise. The gr third group follows a special diet. And yeah, you know, the third group follows a special diet. After four weeks, the reduction in each person's blood pressure is recorded. Now at alpha or level of significance at 0 0.05, test the claim that there is no difference among the means. Okay, so the data are shown below. So we have here the difference between their um, blood pressure for the medication for the exercise and for the diet so what we want to know if if there is no difference among the means that is among them so we change the word from between to among every time we're making use of ANOVA so let's go to data that data tab so we don't need to make use if you can remember in the traditional method we have the sum sum of means the grand mean you know um within means the between means but today we're going to i'm going to show you a very effective way of doing so um, doing ANOVA using the p-value approach. So let's do that in a four-step method. So let's I'll put here step one. That is the, the null and alternative hypothesis. So we're going to say null hypothesis first. Since there are three means, we're going to make use of the mu. We're going to call that mu sub one, mu sub two, and mu sub three. So I'm going to make use of the mu here. Um, here it is. Okay, one more go. Uh, anyways, one more. Sorry for that. Okay, here. So, okay. Mu sub 1 is equal to mu sub 2. I'm just going to copy this. Which is equal to mu sub 3. Okay, that's our null hypothesis. So, for our... Um, alternative hypothesis, we'll call that H sub A. Uh, we just say um, in statement form that at least one mean is different from the others. Okay, so we're just stating in our alternative that there is at least one mean which is different from the others, but we're not sure where, what that is, if ever the null hypothesis is true. And then we're going to have another video um, in what what is the difference what is the actual difference for the means that's going to be a post hoc test so let's go to step two step two is getting the p-value so how do we get the p-value let's go here in the in the data tab we're going to make use of data analysis in excel click on data tab let's go to the grouping here in data analysis um again if data analysis is not yet um shown go to analysis tools and click on data analysis and make sure that it's there so before that Go to the data analysis, make sure it's the analysis tool pack is checked. Click OK and then it will the data analysis will show. If not, restart your Excel. Click on data analysis. Let's go to the first one. The first one is ANOVA, single factor. Um, it's single factor because we are making use of the one-way ANOVA. So there's another one, which is two-way, which is more advanced, which is um beyond this video. Okay, so we're going to make use of the one one way ANOVA. So single factor, click on OK and uh input range we have these things that we need to input we need to have the input range um if ever we're going to put the labels in the first row um do we group them with columns or per row and then our alpha level by default it's 0 0.05 so first we're going to input we we'll put the input range we're going to include the logo the labels okay from the labels all the way down to the last data we're going to check on the labels in first row and then we're going to group them by columns and then that's it actually just input all of those and, and excel will do the rest click on output range uh, where do you want to put your output value that is the op output options click on this and then i want to put it right here and i'll click ok 
and uh, it will show us this in a moment there okay so this is the ANOVA single factor it has a lot of things that we can that can show the count the sum the average the variance the um, sum of means of the moment okay so source of variation SS the, the degrees of freedom okay um, the F statistic. So this is the F statistic. You can compare that with your F critical F. So you can see that your F statistics is greater than critical F. So therefore, you can say that um, you can have the that the we reject the null. But what we want is again this is the the p value approach. So we want to highlight the p value. We want to put some colors there. And also here in our answers. And that's it. That's our p value. Now let's go to step number three. Maybe I can put step number three over here. Step number three is the decision rule. Okay, so we're going to compare your um, your p-value with your alpha level. And we can say that since your p-value is less than your alpha level, so here's your alpha level here. I think that's clear because your p-value is 0 0.0038. Your alpha is 0 0.05, so it's less than your, your, your alpha. That is, um, you say, because 0 0.0038 is indeed less than 0 0.05. Hence, what we do is we reject the null hypothesis. Okay, so that's our answer for step three. So since we have rejected the null hypothesis in step four, we're going to make a conclusion or a generalization. So what are we looking here? We're going to test the claim if there's no significant difference among the means. So since um, we reject the null, meaning we're going to somehow um, have or tell that this uh, H sub A is true, that at least one mean is different from the others. So therefore, what we're going to write here is that there is enough um, evidence to reject the claim. Sorry, enough evidence to reject the claim and conclude that at least one mean is different from the others. Okay, and that's our answer for steps number three and four okay so therefore or you can actually say that or if you want um in the in the you may also type it like this um there is a significant difference among the means among the means so there you can type it like that which is very broad. Um, if you, um, it, it can it, this can be specified. So, but in most research, you you can you can just use that words. Okay, but of course you need to explain what what the means are. Okay, so um, that's it for this video. This is one example of the ANOVA one way ANOVA. Um, the next video will we will show the post hoc test. Post hoc test happens when there is a significant difference with um, when using the technique ANOVA. So we say here in the step four that there is a significant difference among the means. Um, that is at least one mean is different from the others. What mean is that? Are all the means different um, between each other, or is that there's only one mean which exceeds from one? So. The post hoc test can answer that. In, in particular, the post hoc test that we're going to use here is the Tokay's Q test or the Tokay's Kramer um, test. So we're going to make use of that to determine um, if there is a significant what in what pairs have signif is significantly different from one another. And we're going to make use of that in the next video. Um, thank you for thank you for now. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you would like and subscribe. So. See you in the next video.